Four minutes, ladies and gentlemen. I only have four minutes. Four minutes to assuage the rising tide of panic that has gripped every Australian and everyone else in the world about the possibility that some orange-tinted, <laughs> fucking bloated, gas-head American named Donald Trump might one day rule the country. Let me put your mind to ease. It could fucking possibly happen. <laughs> I'm not going to pull any punches. Never underestimate America's ability to make the wrong choice at the right time <laughs> and elect a total fuckwit for president, because that's what we do. <laughs> I love that I can talk about anything going on in America to Australians, and they get it. Doesn't work the other way around, does it? <laughs> hey, Rich, I hear you're going to Australia. Who's in charge over there? What, this week? <laughs> I don't know. It's like being the lead singer for ACDC in this country. <laughs> Hey, you can make, f make fun of our prime minister, but don't you fuck with ACDC, monkey boy. <laughs> You've crossed the line now, you prick. <laughs> no, there are uh, currently two Republicans in America still in the race. One named Ted Cruz, who uh, doesn't believe in evolution. And then there's Donald Trump, who's uh, proof. <laughs> so... But what no one's taken into account is what I know about the typical Trump voter. Okay, here's a few things that will keep Trump voters from actually showing up to vote. Number one, November elections is also hunting season. <laughs> and uh, quite a lot of the people who would vote for Trump aren't allowed within 300 feet of a school where the voting actually takes place. So there's a certain Venn diagram that they fall into. called the ballad of Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump's mom came from Scotland, from an island called Stornoway. At a very young age, most of the hair on Donald's head had worn away. <laughs> so he tracked down a hairpiece and he killed it. <laughs> and he invented the reverse comb over, and headed out to Queens, New York to make his fortune 10 times over. He bought up all the property in New York City and he evicted all the squatters and the vagrants and he built an empire of hotels and casinos and even his own line of men's fragrance called Donald Trump Cologne. Sad but true. For the man who can't abide failing. Made from juniper and musk and the tears of deported aliens. <laughs> he was elected president in 2016. <laughs> he built a giant wall to keep out the Mexicans but the only people who would build that wall <laughs> and now people are scared people are starting to panic and a lot of Americans are thinking of moving to Canada like rats leaving the Titanic which compounds the problem because without a doubt now Canada will build a wall just to keep the Americans out <laughs> And as for that thing on his head, that desiccated animal carcass, it's clearly dead. <laughs> Milk dried, shredded wheat, whatever the fuck it is, I think the evidence is there. How can a man control a country when he can't even control his hair? <laughs>